Okay, these are all the wall pieces for the Gloomhaven wall set. I'm going to go ahead and paint them using the castle gray colors, which are a dark gray, a medium gray, and a light gray, just simply brushed on. Uh, the recipe for this dark gray is going to be three parts black, one part white, and two parts water. The two parts water is optional because if you use cheap craft paint, you may not have to thin the paint at all. But this is house paint. This is a latex uh, house paint that's flat. It's a flat exterior. And I just mix my own using black and white. And it's pretty thick, so it's like heavy cream. Because it's so thick, it may be difficult to get it down into some of these window pieces. So trying to get it in without any gray or white spots showing through is going to be difficult if the paint is too thick. Uh, notice that I put a trash bag down over my work surface so that you know you don't get paint all over your table. And since I'm going to be holding this with my left hand, I am going to put a rubber glove on my left hand so I don't get paint all over my hand. I usually start by going with the insides of the windows. So I will just kind of load up the brush and really sop it into the underside of the windows here. And let's get that all in there. And then we'll go down below. And what you want to do is you want to completely uh, saturate this piece with the dark paint because you don't want any light spots left. And you know, personally, I almost think that this is the most difficult part of painting the piece is to try to get everything covered without having any spots left over that uh, uh, kind of glare at you. Okay, now I think I've got this piece pretty well. Don't forget to do the front edge very well. And the bottom I'm not going to worry about because I really don't want it sticking to the trash bag. So I'm going to leave the bottom unpainted, but some paint is going to splash over the edge there. Uh, at this point, what you want to do is uh, this dental stone will soak up the paint pretty well, so I don't really have a lot of drips. But wherever you do have drips, what I do is I scrape my brush off on the paint container here, and I kind of jam the brush in, scrape it off on the paint container, and then flip this around. Let's see if I can do it one-handed. Uh, and then just kind of mop up any drips uh, that are over here. Try to get any spots that you missed. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to set it over here on the plastic, and then we'll move on to the next piece. Okay, at this point I've put the first coat on all of the wall sections, and this job took me uh, just over an hour, uh, about an hour and ten minutes to do it all. Now the next step is you want to let it dry for probably about an hour, and then what you want to do is you want to check every piece, because I guarantee you there's going to be a lot of little spots that you missed. Uh, let me just zoom in here real quick, and if you take a look at this, you'll see that right here in this corner right here, there's a, there's a white spot that I missed. Uh, that's one spot I missed inside the window here. Uh, there's a white spot in there. Uh, on the floor tile here, there's, there's kind of a white spot down on the floor. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a, a smaller brush. Uh, something about this size right here. A uh, fairly stiff bristle will probably do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a little bit of paint on the brush. And I'm going to take and I'm just going to jam it in those spots that I'd missed. Okay, now I'm going to do the second coat of gray on the walls. Uh, this gray is made using one part black, two parts white, and one part water. But if you're using the thin, cheap craft paint, then you may not want to add the extra water to it. But one part black and two parts white is about the shade that I'm using. If you've just washed your brush out, then you probably want to be sure it's uh, very dry. I would kind of work it over the paper towel to make sure you dry this thing out. Now for this second coat, we're going to dry brush it on, but it's going to be a pretty heavy dry brush. In other words, we're not going to be super careful with it because we have a light gray that's going to frost this thing over after we get done. So if we're a little sloppy with this coat, uh, you know, this will just give you a little bit of practice on dry brushing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some paint, I'm going to put it in my brush, and I'm going to wipe most of this paint out. And you're probably going to have to get you another paper towel. Uh, because you know you'll pretty much fill this paper towel up and then you'll get another paper towel and try to get some of the extra out but you know I do want to see paint come off of the brush so I'm thinking right about here you know it's like well you know that that's probably pretty good uh, I'm just gonna take my piece and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lightly go over it and let's zoom in here just a little bit and try to get a little bit closer to what you can see okay here I got it in the light there and I am going to just kind of go over the top of this and I am just going to sort of jam the brush into the uh, into the cracks and work all the way around and this 
coat should go pretty quick. Uh, I don't think you'll have too much trouble with it. Um, if you kind of go a little more solid than you hoped, like I said, it's not a big deal because we have a really nice light dry brush that's going to go over top of that. And you're going to find out that this coat of paint is going to go really fast because we don't have to be super careful about it. I am just kind of, uh, you know, going around the whole edge and and you know what? I think I'm pretty much done with this side. That took me, what, about, I don't know, 30 seconds just to do this side? And if you want to compare, this is what it was before, and this is what it was after. It looks a little bit lighter, but if you get close up to it, you can also see that there's, you know, you can see a bit more of the detail. Uh, the shadows are, you know, the cracks are a little bit darker, and you can actually see some texture on it. And we're just going to flip this sucker over, and we're going to do the back side. Don't forget the inside of the windows. The inside of the windows are, are easy to forget. Okay, I finished the uh, second coat of paint on this, and this only took me about 50 minutes for the whole set. About 15 minutes less than uh, the first undercoat. Okay, for the final dry brushing on this, we're going to use the Castle Gray Colors Lightest Gray. And this one is really um, one part white and one eighth part black. Uh, you know, that's hardly any black to it. And, you know, it seems like a screwy recipe, and you'll think, why didn't he just say eight parts white and one part black? Uh, the main reason is that you don't need much of this. You're probably only going to use about a quarter cup of this on the whole project. So don't mix up a ton of it, because you're never going to use it. So one part white and one eighth part black will do the job. And uh, when we do this last coat, this is going to be a very, very light dry brushing. This one you're going to have to be more careful on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush, make sure that it's dry. You know, make sure that you have all the moisture out of it. And I'm going to put some paint on it here, and I'm going to dry brush this out. Now the paint will probably last a lot longer in this brush than it did for your previous dry brushing. Uh, because it's not going to take much paint to do this. So you want to make sure that you have almost nothing, uh, nothing coming out of the brush. And what you can do is you can take like the, uh, you know, the bottom of a piece and just kind of brush over it. I'm really not getting much of anything on the bottom of this one. So I'm going to go ahead and go with this. And take your time and you're really not going to jam the brush at all. I'm just going to very lightly go across the top surfaces of this and you see uh, uh, paint is starting to uh, is starting to come out there so I'm gonna go just a little bit harder but you know I don't want much of this white to go what I want to do is I just want to frost the edges frost the edges of what I've got here okay so I'm hitting the edges I'm gonna go around the edges of the windows I'm not going to jam it up inside the windows. I really don't care about the insides of the windows at this point. I'm just trying to get all of the edges to stand out. The edges of the hexes on the front here. And now it looks like it's going pretty good. I might jam just a little bit harder. And that is probably all we're going to need to do uh, for this one. So if you want to take this one and you want to compare it to the one before and the one after, this is the one without and then this one is after that last uh, final dry brushing. Okay, I finished dry brushing the last dry brush on all of these pieces. It took me 25 minutes. And I bet I only used probably two or three tablespoons worth of the lightest color of gray to do that.